This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Double honors to the elder apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Achaean out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And shalom to the Akwaf, sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures said to do so. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. And as you see, man, this is what Jake is uh, indulging in. This is what Jake is training his son to be like. You know, effeminate, emasculated, soft, weak, to have the attributes and characteristics in the nature of women. And also, you know, to, to be clear and blunt and straight to the point, and as Yahweh by Shem Yahweh sees it, as Sodom and, as the spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Okay, because our children are supposed to be trained to be men. So like you're supposed to learn to be men, supposed to learn the the the, the customs, the, the law, statutes, and commandments, the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. But our people are defiled in every aspect of life. Okay? Every single aspect of life our people are defiled and the only way that they can be cleansed is either by this word or by death and two thirds is a very very big number so a lot of you Israelites have to be cleansed by death point blank period now let me read this real quick this is the book of Titus chapter 1 verse 15 on to the pure all things are pure and the only people that are being purified and are being cleansed daily or the ones seeking Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, truthfully and sincerely and, and with all humility, man. And that number is not a, a, a very large amongst Israel. Even uh, the Israelites that claim they are obedient and fearful towards Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, but uh, still have tendencies of Babylon in their spirit. Okay? Onto the pure, all things are pure. But onto them that are that are defiled, which you see on the screen, these people are defiled, man. And for a grown ass man, you know, and, and per se, you know, I don't know for I don't know these people, so I don't know if these are his sons, nephews, or relatives. But either way, it's fucking off. This is wicked. This is and look at this little boy, man. You can tell this little boy has been training this pole. For a long time, man, to be doing the shit he's doing, man. And, and look, 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 like I said, I don't know if this is, if, if this is their father or not, but obviously we see the type of spirit he's in, man. Okay? And unbelieving is nothing pure. Our people don't believe in the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They believe in this world. They believe in their oppressor, which is their power. Okay? That's who they worship. And what does Esau, Esau worship? Greed. Uh, uh, everything. He has to have, you know, uh, everything. Okay, but even their mind and conscience is defiled, and this is a prime example amongst a, a, a numerous examples that we have shown you in this truth through various lessons. How our people's conscience and minds are defiled, man, and this is just purely disgusting, man. 
you know, and I hope, I hope, and I pray that Yahweh uh, 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 <laughs> annihilates, as you uh, other Jakes say, this out of our kingdom, man, because this is vexing, man, and this is fucking wicked, man. And to you know, hear other niggas in the background cheering about this shit, man. Come on, man. On to the pure, all things are pure, but on to them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. So with them not being, with them not believing, that means what? They have no fear. They have no reverence. They have no respect, no anything towards your heart about shooting out shot. But even their mind and conscience is defiled, man. And again, the only way for them to be cleansed is, is death, man. You know, either uh, the Lord is going to show you uh, uh, some form of mercy and cleanse you by this word, or you just have to be put to death, man. Because it's already written, it's already predestinated, it's already been signed and sealed. And guess what? It's just waiting to be delivered, man. So this is Lamentations chapter 2, verse 15. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. And that's the heathens, man. Okay, the heathens look at our people like, you know, what the hell is wrong with you people? You people are wicked. You people are off. You know, you, you people got mental problems. You know, you just, you know, stay away from these people, man. You know, you don't want to, you know, conduct yourself around them, man. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. You know, and even, you know, us us men of Yahweh, about Shem Shai, we wag, we wag our head at, you know, shake our damn heads at, at Israel, man. You know, because we, we, we see the, uh, how badly our people have been corrupted and polluted of this world, man, and just ran with it, man. You know, it's just, you know, just like the, the heathen, Hiss and wag their head, man. You know, we 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 shaking our head too. Like, damn. Like we need you how about Shimmy How was shy? 500 years ago, man. All that passed by, clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty? The joy of the whole earth. And they're literally saying that to this day, man. Because, you know, our people have been destroyed. Our people have cleaved on to the customs, the philosophies, uh, the instructions of the heathen, man. Which the heathen is, is uh, uh, they live in vain. They live in darkness, man. And Jake has consumed and gravitated and elevated uh, their customs, man. You know, as it says in Jeremiah chapter 5, our people have overpassed the deeds of the wicked, man. You know, you have overpassed the deeds of the wicked, of, of the people that was made to be the wicked, man. Okay? Because, again, man, this is wicked as shit, man. And you, you got people in the background cheering, and you, you're training your, your child to be feminine. You're training your child to have characteristics of women. To, to be on a damn strip pole. And, man, this is vexing as hell, man. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit it, the kingdom of the Most High? So what does that mean? That means you got to be put to death, nigga. You got to die. Okay? Point blank, period, man. Whether small or great, whether toddler, infant, children, the Lord does not give a damn, man. You got to go, man. You got to go. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit it, the kingdom of the Most High? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. And this is a effeminate ass spirit, man. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and we want the Lord to, per matter of fact, and to prove a point. Because the Lord is going to kill uh, uh, Israel that has this concept, man. He did it before and he's going to continue to do it again. Let me grab this real quick. I think this is the right chapter I want. It's the book of 1 Kings, chapter 14, verse 24. And there were also Sodomites in the land, and they did according to all the abominations of the nations. Okay? Where do you think Jake got this shit from? Where do you think Jake learns this shit from? Where do you think Esau got this shit from and elevated it? He got it from them damn Hamites, man. Okay, and, and, and made this wickedness prosper in his hands, man. He 
He grew it. He promoted it. To who? Jake. Okay, and you see, you see Edomites. I saw a post yesterday. Or so like it today, last night, which is today. A damn Edomite going to work. I forgot what type of job it said he did, but he went to work in a skirt and some goddamn high heels, man. To show his daughters that and everybody else that clothes have no gender role. And there were also sodomites in the land, and they did according to the all so like and they did according to all the abominations of the nations which Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai cast out before the children of Israel. So the Lord is not with this shit. The Lord is going to put you niggas to death that have this spirit, man. Period, man. And, and, and furthermore, let me read this, man. Let's let the Bible speak. You know, the Lord, man, man Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has given you warnings. I've given you examples of what not to be like, man. But y'all, what, 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 what do our people do? They ignore. They, they, they become hard-headed, stiff-necked. This is the book of Jude, chapter 1, starting off at verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. And what type of fornication is going to expound a little more? And going after strange flesh. Okay, because the Lord made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Okay, not Sarah and Bella. Okay. Okay, like like Yahweh Shai said, he made, uh, he made uh, a female and man. Or, or, or man and female, Salaki, so roughly paraphrasing, but y'all know what I'm saying. Okay? He didn't make two genders to be together, man. That's wicked as shit, man. Okay? <laughs> Giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example. Suffering the violence, so like it's suffering the vengeance of eternal light. You hear that? Are set forth for example. Okay, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. And that's going to be the outcome. That's going to be the judgment on this whore, this great whore, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, man. Verse eight, likewise, also these filthy dreamers, which you see in front of you, defile the flesh, which he's teaching his kids to defile their flesh, despise dominion. And speak evil of dignities, okay? Because they'll they'll come against us for us speaking a uh, uh, truth and correcting them and telling them that this is not right. You know, ain't ain't nothing wrong with you know teaching my son uh, uh, how to you know to use the pole. You know, he might want to dance for you, yada yada. It's it's off. It's wicked. It's effeminate. Ain't hey, look, man. Period, man. Ain't nothing uh, 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 to be. Uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Salak here. There's nothing righteous about this. There's nothing that you can say that's uh, uh, that's going to justify this action, man. Okay. And what does the Lord say, man? Let me grab this. I'm grab. So like, I'm grab two scriptures, man. Because you, you niggas, man. Man, how about Shem Yahshua put you niggas to death, man? It's wicked as shit, man. It's Isaiah 46, verse 8. Remember this and shoo yourselves men. It's supposed to be a man. I know goddamn e effeminate, uh, e emasculated creature having the, the tendencies and traits and characteristics and attributes of a woman. Remember this and shoo yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors, man. Okay? It's supposed to be a man. And guess what? You got to answer for this, man. Matter of fact, go right here real quick. Job 40, verse 7. Grit up thy loins. Okay? Grit up thy loins. Okay? Now, like a man, stand firm. Be a man. Okay? I will demand of thee and declare unto thee. So like I will demand of thee. And declare thou unto me. So the Lord, you're going to have to answer for this, man. You're going to literally have to answer for uh, 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 what's being done right here, man. Okay? <laughs> literally. You're going to have to answer for this, man. Let me get one more scripture and we'll close out. Because I didn't... It's a lot. I didn't intend for this to be too long. But, you know, 
this is this is utter madness, man. Utter madness, man. Okay, man. Man, oh man. It's pure wickedness, man. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 8. There is no fear of the Most High before their eyes. There is no fear of the Most High before their eyes. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Let's grab this. Scripture is a lot here. I might just leave it right there. Might just leave it right there, man. Yeah, we'll hold on, Salaki. Here it is, right here, Salaki. This is Revelation 21, verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable as you see and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death that's the judgment man and may Yahweh shim how shall bring it forth man so man i don't want to write this out man i hope and i pray that this was edifying uplifting and informative to the true sincere aki and wa so with that, I'm just going to say, call Layam La, Abanawa Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakwadash, Wa Fawada Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakwadash, for putting the spirit on me, my elder, pis, elder, elder, elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down, for doing these epistles to edify, to warn you, to inform you, and to enlighten you of the words of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And I hope and I pray that this is edifying and uplifting. And I hope and I pray that the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom. Bom, 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 bom,